A new TFT set means a new cast of units, and today I'm going to show you in detail what all 59 units do. If you missed it, check out my last guide where I explain every new trait in detail. Timestamps are in the description for your convenience as always, and a quick reminder that while abilities and traits will probably stay the same, the numbers for each unit are highly subject to change. Without further ado, let's check it out. Starting with 1 costs, our first unit is Annie. Annie is a ranged AP carry who shoots a single target fireball, and after her fourth cast each fight, she gains bonus attack speed and her fireballs splash onto a second enemy instead. Her headliner effect gives her bonus AP. Next is Corky, a ranged AD carry who throws his bomb, dealing splash damage and reducing the healing of whoever gets hits. His headliner effect gives him bonus AD. Evelyn is a melee AP fighter who deals damage and then gains attack speed and healing on attacks for the next 4 seconds. Her headliner effect gives her bonus health and AP. Jinx is an AD carry with her Q, with each cast swapping between her minigun giving attack speed per auto and her rocket launcher dealing bonus damage. The attack speed stacked from the minigun lasts until the end of the fight. Her headliner gives her more attack speed and damage from her ability. Kennen is an AP fighter whose ability damages and stuns a random enemy in range. If you give him an item with true damage, he also hits a second target. His headliner effect gives him health and makes his ability heal him for max health. Kasante is an AD tank who gains percentage damage reduction and claps his target. His headliner effect gives him bonus health. Lilia is an AP tank who strikes in a circle and heals herself and her nearest ally. Her headliner gives her bonus health and makes her ability heal a little more. Nami is a single target AP carry that deals damage and stuns her target. Her headliner effect gives her bonus AP. Olaf is an AD fighter that always gains attack speed for missing health and heals himself on each attack. His headliner effect gives him some health, AD, and magic resist. Tarek is an AP tank that shields himself and gives his next attacks bonus damage. His headliner effect gives him health and armor. Tomkench is an AP tank that always has flat damage reduction. His headliner effect gives him bonus health. Vi is an AD fighter that deals bonus damage if her target has more health than her. She also stuns and reduces her target's flat armor until the end of combat. Finally, Yasuo is an AD fighter that permanently gains AD whenever he kills an enemy. His ability is simply a strike, but his true damage bonus executes enemies under a threshold. His headliner effect gives him both health and omnivamp. For 2 costs, Aphilios is an AD carry that shoots a moonlight blast that deals a ton of damage and stuns the current target, dealing some splash damage and stunning everyone in one hex if the original target dies. His headliner gives him bonus AD. Bard is an AP carry that plays a string of 4 of 3 possible notes on cast. The dudes deal magic damage, the chimes heal the lowest health ally, and the tips drop gold and play bonus notes. Each of the three notes have different chances with tips being extremely rare. His headliner effect is unique. After his first cast, he fires off a dude for every 8 times he's cast this game, stacking infinitely. These dudes are split evenly between the nearest enemies. Garen is an AD tank whose cast grants him temporary max health and makes his next attack deal bonus damage. His headliner gives him bonus health. Nar is an AD fighter who transforms into Mega Nar giving him bonus health and AD. As Meganar, his cast strike for physical damage. His headliner effect makes him start the combat as Meganar without having to cast first. Gragas is an AP tank who heals himself and then detonates, dealing magic damage and reducing the attack speed of enemies around him. His headliner gives him damage reduction and a damage multiplier. Jax is an AP fighter who leaps at the highest health nearby enemy, hitting them and nearby enemies and then giving himself bonus AD and AP until the end of combat. His headliner gives him bonus health and AP. Kaisa is an AD carry who dashes 2 hexes and shoots a missile, damaging the first enemy hits. Her headliner gives her bonus AD, 2 extra range, and dashes further away. Katarina is an AP fighter with 2 range, throwing a blade that bounces to other enemies 3 times and applies healing reduction to each. Her headliner effect gives her bonus health and makes her blade's final bounce deal bonus damage. Kale is an AP carry whose ability makes her attacks deal damage in magic waves on her target and enemies behind, shredding MR. At the end of the buff, he, she blasts her target for AoE damage. Her headliner effect gives her bonus attack speed. Pantheon is an AD tank who gains damage reduction for a few seconds. After that, he throws spears at the three enemies that dealt the most damage to him during that buff. His headliner effect gives him bonus health, armor, and MR. Senna is an AP carry who fires a blast that pulses three times, dealing AoE damage each time. Her true damage item bonus reduces her mana costs, and her headliner gives her AP and makes the pulses have a larger range. Seraphine is an AP carry that affects all units in a one hex splash, damaging enemies and healing allies. Her headliner makes every other cast shoot another note with reduced effectiveness. Twitch is an AD carry that throws a splash bottle for physical damage, exploding into shards that deal magic damage to a random nearby enemy. Each enemy that got struck with a crit by the original bottle creates an additional shard. His headliner gives him AD and crit. Moving on to 3 costs. Amumu is an AP tank who passively gains armor when attacked until the end of combat. 
His ability deals magic damage to adjacent enemies, with every third cast they're both hitting and stunning everyone within two hexes. His headliner gives him HP and makes him gain MR when attacked through his passive. Echo is an AP tank whose ability deals magic damage and stuns surrounding enemies and gives him a shield. His true damage bonus gives him flat healing per second while his shield is active. His headliner gives him HP and AP. Lulu is an AP carry who shoots a bolt that pierces hitting up to two targets. Every third cast, she instead stuns the nearest three enemies and deals a little less damage. Her headliner gives her bonus AP. Lux is an AP carry who fires a laser beam at the furthest enemies, damaging everyone hits. Her headliner gives her crit chance and lets her ability crit, meaning you don't need Jeweled Gauntlet. Misfortune is an AD carry who shoots a shot that bounces to an enemy behind the target. If either target dies, MF gains attack speed for 4 seconds. Her headliner gives her bonus AD. Mordekaiser is an AP fighter who gains a shield and damages nearby enemies over time for 3 seconds. After that, he bursts with damage again. If this ability kills an enemy, he also gains stats until the end of the fight. His headliner gives him bonus health and AP, and makes him gain 1 permanent AP every time his ability kills a unit. Nico is an AP tank who gains a shield scaling off AP and a percentage of the ally with the highest health. When the shield breaks, she deals a percentage of its value as magic damage to nearby enemies. Her headliner gives her bonus HP and grants mana to the highest health ally after casting. Riven is an AD fighter who gives herself a shield and makes her attacks deal bonus damage to enemies around her target for 6 seconds. Her headliner gives her some HP, AD, armor, and MR. Mira is an AD carry who passively gains a stack of style whenever her attacks crit up to 6 stacks, with each stack giving bonus attack speed. Her ability shoots the target and resets her stacks, dealing more damage for each. Her headliner gives her AD and crit chance. Thet is an AP tank who gains a shield that increases based on Set's missing health. He also punches in a cone against his targets, hitting others around them. His headliner gives him bonus HP, and once per fight, when he reaches half health, he gains permanent stacking max health. Urgot is an AD fighter who buffs himself, converting bonus attack speed to AD, firing in a cone and gaining a percentage of damage dealt as a shield. His headliner gives him AD and Omni Vamp. Vex is an AP carry who stuns and then deals damage to a target and any surrounding enemies. Her headliner gives her AP. Finally, Yone is an AD fighter that gives himself a stacking move speed and Omni Vamp buff, and then slashes twice in a cone. His headliner gives him health and AD. Our first 4 cost is Ari, an AP carry. Ari hits her current target, dealing damage and stunning them. If they've already been hit this fight, instead of stunning, she deals bonus damage. Her headliner gives her AP. Akali has both a KDA and tree damage form, switching depending on whichever trait you have more on your board. KDA Akali is an AD fighter who dashes into the furthest enemy, hitting them and any enemies dash through. Her headliner gives her health and AD. True Damage Akali is an AD fighter who strikes 3 times, dealing damage split between 3 enemies in her range. She also refunds mana based on how many enemies survived her full cast. Her true damage bonus makes her heal a percentage of ability damage dealt, and her headliner gives her health and AD. Blitzcrank is an AP tank who passively strikes a nearby enemy every 2 seconds. His ability shields himself and makes his passive strike every second instead, and deal a percentage of the enemy's max health. His headliner gives him HP and makes his passive strikes always deal the max health damage. Kaelin is an AD carry who fires at the 4 furthest enemies, each shot damaging the first enemy hits. Her headliner gives her AD and fires an extra shot. Ezreal is an AD carry who hits and dashes away from his target. Every third cast, he also fires an AoE barrage shot in a line. His headliner gives him AD. Karthus is an AP carry who channels and then strikes the 5 lowest health enemies, gaining mana for each enemy killed. His headliner gives him AP. Poppy is an AD fighter who passively gains AD based on bonus health. Her ability buffs her armor and MR and hammer strikes the nearest enemy 3 times, healing Poppy. If this ability kills an enemy, strike an extra time. Her headliner gives her health and AD. Thresh is an AP tank who stuns the largest group of enemies, damaging them and healing Thresh for damage dealt. Thresh's headliner gives him health and a faster cast. Twisted Fate returns as an AP carry who throws cards split between the four nearest enemies, each reducing MR by one and dealing damage. TF throws more cards based on his attack speed. His headliner effect makes him always throw three more cards. Diego is an AD fighter who slams onto a hex, dealing splash damage to enemies and marking them to take bonus damage from everything. Diego also deals bonus damage when attacking marked enemies. Diego's headliner gives him health and AD. Zack is an AP tank who bounces around on enemies, dealing damage, stunning them, and healing Zack. His headliner gives him health and AP. Zed is an AD fighter who marks his target and summons a shadow clone that attacks the target. After a delay or when the target falls below a certain percentage of health, Zed strikes, dealing more physical damage. His headliner, his headliner gives him health and gives his shadows AD and AS. Finally, we've got our 5 costs. Alawi is an AP tank who has 2 tentacles you can position during the planning phase. 
Every 3 seconds, these tentacles strike nearby enemies. Her ability gives her armor and MR, revives or fully heals the lowest health tentacle, and strikes the nearest enemy, slamming down her tentacles 3 times. Her headliner gives her AP, armor, and MR, and makes her tentacles slam more often. Jin is an AD carry whose cast summons an X bow on your bench. At 4 summons, the bows attack with Jin, with every 4th shot dealing bonus damage. Note that you need to have at least 4 empty bench shots for these to start dealing damage, and Jin will summon bows until the, he runs out of. Note that you need to have at least four em Note that you need to have at least four empty bench slots for these to start dealing damage, and Jin will summon bows until he runs out of empty slots. Jin has a specific fire rate, converting bonus AS into AD. His headliner gives him AD and summons an expo at the start of the round. Kane is an AP fighter who dashes and spins with his scythe, damaging and reducing the attack speed of nearby enemies. If the cast only hits one target, he gets the cast again, which you can chain infinitely. His wildcard trait turns him blue if you won the last combat, and red if you lost. With every two kills, Kane gets dropping gold in blue form and giving you player health in red form. His headliner effect gives him AP and bonus rewards based on his form. Lucian is an AD carry who fires a barrage towards the furthest enemy, firing more bullets with more attack speed. Each shot explodes the first enemy hit, dealing damage and reducing flat armor. If this cast ends early, he gains mana based on how many shots he would have had left. His headliner gives him AD and 3 more shots in the barrage. Kiana is an AD fighter whose ability temporarily gives an ally copies of her target's items. She then knocks her target back, dealing damage. If her target has no items, she deals additional true damage and shoves them back to the edge of the board. Her true damage bonus prints you a permanent component whenever her ability both kills a target and successfully copies an item. Her headliner gives her permanent stacking AD whenever she successfully copies an item. Kona is an AP carry who has 3 forms, which you can toggle for the combat by benching and replacing her on your board. Her green form makes her attacks heal allies instead of hitting enemies, with her green casts healing and shielding all allies. Her blue form makes her attacks give Sona and her allies stacking attack speed, with her blue cast buffing all allies for 6 seconds, giving them bonus attack speed and bonus magic damage on their attacks. Sona's red form makes her attacks give Sona and an ally stacking AP, with her red cast striking her nearest enemies for a ton of damage. Her headliner gives her stacking attack speed every time she attacks. Yorick is an AD fighter who summons goals who pile onto the center of the board, each dealing damage over 3 attacks and shredding percentage armor. Every second cast, he also summons a huge goal with more health and damage. His headliner gives him bonus HP, summons 2 extra goals, and his big ghouls get bigger and deal more damage. Finally, Ziggs is an AP carry who throws a bomb, dealing damage and splitting into smaller bombs that shred MR and deal less damage. Each cast this fight adds 2 more bombs to the split counts. His headliner gives him AP and reduces his mana cost. That was every new unit's ability in set 10 of TFT. Thanks so much for watching, and if you missed it, click here for an explanation of every new trait in set 10. Drop a sub if you enjoyed the video, and climb on.